Over the years at Driving Television, we've had both the Nissan Pathfinder and the Nissan Armada as long-term test vehicles. Now we've carried around our crew and all types of gear, but the one thing we've never had a chance to do is tow anything. Nissan has invited us out to the beautiful Muskokas to see what these bad boys can do. We're going to get a chance to tow some boats, get them out on the lake, and enjoy some wonderful Muskoka hospitality. First, let's start with the Nissan Pathfinder. Before we start towing, we need to learn the proper way to hook up a trailer. The first thing we'll want to do is just check to make sure the boat's uh, on the trailer properly. So make sure that it's loaded properly, that's evenly distributed as far as weight on the trailer. From there, you know, we can then back up the vehicle. So normally you might need a spotter as you're backing up the vehicle to the trailer. You want to make sure that you get the ball of the trailer hitch underneath the coupler of the trailer. With that Nissan, you can actually have that rear view camera helps you uh, back up and you don't need a spotter. Once you've got the ball underneath the coupler of the trailer, then you can put the vehicle in park, put the emergency brake on, go back to the trailer, winch down the trailer so that the coupler sits on the ball. Once it's securely on the ball, there's a latch that you'll just flip down, put a safety pin in. So you'll hook the safety uh, cables or the safety chains up to the vehicle. You'll cross those so they form a cradle. If the trailer ever became dislodged from the vehicle, it'll sit in that, uh, that cradle. And then hook up your lights. Uh, I just wanna make sure that your lights are functioning properly on the trailer. So you'll get a spotter, a second person to go to the back of the trailer, while you're in the vehicle, you just cycle through the left turn signal, right turn signal, brake lights, and running lights. Just want to make sure that your spotter is checking that all those lights are working properly. One last time around the trailer to check that the, the bow eye winch is securely fastened, that the transom straps are secure. You've checked it all over, you're good to go at that point. This is actually the first time I've ever had a chance to tow anything. To be honest, I was a little bit nervous, but I'm excited as well. Sitting in the driver's seat, we've got a boat that's about 20 feet long and just under 4,000 pounds. And I'm really surprised that the small, well, small Nissan Pathfinder when compared to the Armada is so capable of towing this boat. I was expecting it to feel heavy and awkward, but it doesn't. I don't know if a lot of people would think of the Pathfinder as a vehicle for towing, but think about this. If you have kids and you drive them to school every day and you go to work, this would be a great vehicle to do that and take your boat on the lake over weekends on the summer. Of course, when people think of towing a boat or a trailer, they're not going to think of the Pathfinder. You're going to think of something probably bigger, something like this Nissan Armada. Now, this is Nissan's full-size SUV. It's no longer based on the Titan platform. It shares their global platform, and it is a full-size SUV, so you've got room for all your friends, your family, and a lot of gear. Today, I'm towing a bigger boat. It's 23 feet and about 6,000 pounds. And behind this big old Armada that can tow up to 8,500 pounds, I can barely feel that boat back there. It's actually really impressive. Well, we have done a lot of driving and the other reason we came all the way out here to the Muskokas was to do some driving in these boats. So I'm going to get the boat in the water and enjoy the rest of our day. Now being from Alberta, water activities are something that I didn't do a lot of as a kid. I got my Boat Smart Pleasure Craft Operator Card and had a great time being safe and having fun on the lake. Boat Smart is Canada's official boating course. It has no minimum age and never expires. With the wind in my hair, the sun on my face, and the power and torque of all these toys, I really didn't want to get back into the land. Now the speedboat was a lot of fun, but I fell in love with the 310 horsepower Skidoo. This has been a really incredible experience for me. Not only did I learn how to properly hitch up a boat and drive one, this has been a great opportunity to drive these vehicles and see exactly what they're capable of. Now I just have to figure out how to make some more money so I can buy myself my own boat. I got to tow a boat. It was pretty awesome. Now backing up the trailer, did you get to do that? I did and that was actually tricky and took a lot of practice. All right, so you did your boating safety. You got a chance to do a 300 horsepower jet ski. Was it all good? It was fantastic. Now you complain I get to go to the track. You got to do that. I get to have fun too.